Here we go, back at Tokyo again, and our eyes are firmly on a podium. Now, we are uh, obviously back in the Alpha as, you know, it seemed to have been the fastest car for us personally to get around this track. Also, driving in the cockpit view, we do have that little camera in the uh, just, just to the right of the center of the screen there to help us out with watching... Uh, watching races just behind us so we can judge where they're gonna smash into us from basically so we are I mean we're starting in 16th on the first race let's just see how this one goes behind the German who uh, we do actually have a race with uh, I think it might be in the next video uh, I had a good race with him uh, but eyes are on 14th place. Now we are starting in 13th. Unlucky for some. Uh, as we come around the first corner here, we get it all right. The German gets it all wrong. And we are easily up the inside. Trying to keep it as close to the inside of this corner as possible without running wide and into the other car. But there we go. Easy. Up to 12th. That's how we like to start races as we come... This isn't even the back straight. Uh, coming onto the back straight now, I figured out that you could just sort of lift with the Alpha. You don't actually have to touch the brakes at all going into that corner. So you just lift and sort of wait for the right moment to stamp on the accelerator to get it going in. Same with here. You just, you, I think it's quicker to go into in sixth gear there as we're following the German through here now. Not anywhere to go. We had a better run out there, but this Tokyo track being as narrow as it is can't really get past uh, even if you are going faster in some in some places which is why you just have to relax a little bit even when you know it's not you want to get past him but you've got to play smart sometimes a little bit of a wider entry there but we're too slow and we're we hit the inside as we see the cars behind us now really chewing on our backside as Richard goes up the inside gives me a little tuck tap for my worries as I hold the inside obviously I get the SR down as I believe he just touches the wall and he loses a place to the German once again in this video and the next video the amount of times I get an SR knock for being tapped into is just ridiculous as we see the German now go for a move up the inside I'm having to give him there I just broke a little bit and there we go there it is, another SR for me slowing down so I don't go in the back of him and I get hit behind by Richard. Two people with penalties as we glide through the middle of them there, trying not to hit them because we have seen that you can still get ghosted. I'm on the outside here. Richard is on the inside. He taps me into the wall. I go over to him and that is our race done. That's our race done. A uh, little bit of contact there. Obviously not enough for the, uh, the game to penalise Richard at all because uh, we come across here in 12th, we got a couple of places back um, but as we can see here, looking at Richard's position, he's in ninth and no penalty absolute clean race, so the game not penalising there, or not, not uh, viewing that to be any more than what it was uh, so that's fine we finish in 12th, up one position not the podium that we wanted but hopefully in this next race that will be rectified starting in third this time so obviously this is the, the race straight after the race we just went in we actually didn't lose any SR we actually went up in SR I believe um, correct me if I'm wrong but nope we are down with DS drivers for whatever reason but look the German who was in the last race with us is there as well so this is where we get a nice little battle with the Germans so on to the main meat of this video we had the little preliminary race and we are on to this six lapper at Tokyo to see if we can get our podium place so we have a German in front who was about two tenths quicker than us on the qualifying lap time as we come around the first corner. Really important corner to get right the first time. It's sort of, you can build confidence then with the rest of your race. But we go a little bit wide there. 
oversteer a little bit trying to correct the car and we've just lost lost maybe a tenth maybe two tenths from the German the Italian in front had a 117.2 I think so he should be about half a second quicker everything goes right as the German goes well wide there into the wall and you can see how much time you lose from just hitting the wall there as we go up to second now can we go about actually putting some pressure on the Italian in first place and getting that podium position sitting in second now the German extremely close I believe he's just in the rear view mirror as you can see there holding a middle line as we go into the left hand he's gone around the outside nice and clean so far I'm giving him space I'm letting a car's width between me and the inside there which he has gone through and there we go a nice bit of clean racing there this was what I was talking about when I said that we're gonna have a nice race with this German good uh, space given I'm not you know my visibility is pretty uh, pretty limited so I had to give as much space as I believed uh, I believe to be fair which kind of worked out well for him whether he was playing the same or not and just taking what I was given who knows but we are up well we're up we're back into third now as we take the uh, first two corners pretty averagely as we come around here now is the German gonna get a better run yes he does really difficult I said it in a video previously that following cars in the cockpit view or bumper cam or hood whatever it is it's it makes it a lot harder because you obviously have the speed that you're comfortable of attacking the corner with but that might be different from the player in front so do you go full pace and risk hitting them in the back or do you let off and break a little bit earlier which ultimately will lose you some time as we hug that corner very nicely and get a better run out there than the German but obviously overtaking around here is at a premium as he goes nice and wide hits the wall again second time that's happened to him instead of going on the inside we are around the outside this time as the start of lap three sees us overtaking the German and into second place again hitting the wall actually on the first corner there slowed us down a little bit so we have the German now all over our booty I'm trying to look in the rearview mirror and check the Delta at the same time my eyes flicker between the two as I believe he's still on the outside there so we've got to give him space a little bit of a lift it's keeping in second he's actually tried to go for that undercut there by breaking a little bit early and then trying to cut under me to go to the inside but it hasn't worked for him as we come into this I'm still on that middle middle uh, narrower line so I can't go as fast through there starting a narrower line here again so I'm gonna have to change down a gear into fourth into fifth it seems like we have uh, quelled the onslaught from behind three tenths separating us now as we're coming into the last couple of corners on the track a little bit of understeer just attacking that corner too fast as he's closing on us now as we come into the last corner a little bit touch of the brakes and we receive just a tap in the back from him and of course we get the SR down because um, obviously that was my fault um, so we're coming onto the fourth lap now nice we seem to be quicker on that first corner and the uh, the secondary fast right hand corner at the top of this hill uh, than uh, third and fourth place so that's something to bear in mind as we skip forward now that was uh, about a, well, to the end of the lap now on the final lap and you can see the delta on the left hand corner and obviously you can see them in the rear view mirror as we come on to the last lap now, I believe the last couple of corners for myself were very poor as I think we grazed a couple of the walls, which obviously allowed the Brit and the German to catch back up with us. Not going for the move here. That's probably a wise decision as we can both get through here. Nice and quick. See, we're just a little bit quicker than they are there, creating a two-tenth gap, which should see us safe into this right-hander as we go underneath the bridge here orange car all over us little shift down here trying to keep it in how early can you get on the accelerator without understeering into that left hand wall there a nice gap now two tenths 
Is he going to go for it? No, it seems like he's uh, just under two tenths now. He's staying behind. He's not going for a move. But he's actually hit us in the back, which has sent us into the wall. Sees us trying to catch ourselves, holding the inside line, which the German then goes into the back of us. Obviously, we get the SR down for being hit into. The German not happy behind, flashing his lights in fury. But not really anything we could have done there. As the Brit then goes down to fourth place for his troubles, as obviously wanted that just a little bit too much there and punted me out of the way in the second to last corner. So there we go, we actually got our, our, uh, our podium in second place, up from third. So I sent a message to the German guy because we actually had a really good race. Um, but he came back with um, Blocker. Uh, so obviously he didn't view the race as I viewed the race. It's not like I could have got out of the way at the end there. But thank you to the uh, channel members. And thank you for watching, liking and subscribing. And we'll see you in the next one.